everyone, this is Eva, and you're watching Israeli startup channel, Issa. So today, Eat With is up, and we're with the guy, Michelin, who's the CEO of Eat With. So, uh, hello guy. Hi. It's very Hi, nice everyone. to meet you. Uh -huh. Same here. So, uh, Eat With is um, gathering all the people of the world together in one meal at a time. Right. So, uh, could you please explain more about Eat With? Sure. So Eat With is a marketplace that connects people who are passionate about cooking and hosting with travelers and locals that want to have an alternative dining experience. Uh -huh. So I personally had my uh, Eat With experience in Indian cuisine in Tel Aviv. So I wonder how you came up with this idea. So the idea actually came up uh, almost two years ago when I was traveling with my family in Greece. And after many tourist traps, uh, we managed to get an invitation to a local family for dinner. It was like a Friday dinner. And the experience was so amazing. Uh, the people were so welcoming. The food was completely different than what we experienced in restaurants. That when I came back to Israel, uh, my partner and I met. And uh, we sat down and we thought, how do you take this magical moment that I experienced in Greece? And we basically share it with millions around the world. And from this, the idea was born, and we decided to create Eat With. Mm -hmm. So, I noticed that uh, recently you expanded to uh, South America, Europe, and Asia. So many countries. So, uh, what is the like market status for Eat With right now? Right. So, originally when we started, we thought to do only one city in 2013, uh, which was actually Barcelona. But then, around April, May, we started getting hundreds and now it's thousands of requests from all over the world from people who actually wanted to join the platform. And so around the summer, we decided to open up the platform and today we have over 34 countries on the platform and we have applications from over 100 countries. And so we keep adding new cities and new countries almost on a weekly basis now. Mm -hmm. Let's say when you open a, a new it with a platform to a new country, how do you partnership with them? Is there like local, uh, the one who's in head taking care of everything? So we're working in two models. One is that we're having people on the ground and the other one is we're working with the community to do, to do the vetting because uh, we take the whole safety and trust issue very, very seriously. And this is why we're actually vetting all of our hosts. And so we have different ways, either our people or people from the community that are actually doing this kind of vetting. So, yes, you mentioned security issues, and uh, how do you take care of that problem? So we have various mechanisms in place. One is, like I said, it's uh, the vetting process, so all of our hosts are actually vetted. We obviously have the rating and reviews mechanism, so the community can actually uh, rate each one of the hosts and say if you didn't meet the standards, and so far we had no issues. Uh, we're having, uh, we're actually empowering the host to say no if they, for some reason, don't feel secure or safe to accept an invitation from a specific guest. We actually have insurance up to a million dollars that actually insures most of the guests in some of the countries, not in all of the countries, yes, for any mishap that might happen. And so far, luckily, we didn't have anything like that. So we have all these mechanisms and many more that all are put in place just to create this safety and trust that we know it's paramount for the success of any marketplace and, and ours in specific. Uh -huh. So uh, in terms of like quality uh, quality check from Eat With, so is there anything you have like certificate that you uh, give them or something? It's not a formal certificate but we're actually going and we're vetting all of the hosts and we have a very clear set of criteria that only if a host meets them, only then he can be uh, onboarded to the platform. So, like I said, we have thousands of applications, but only hundreds of hosts, because we do not accept everyone. Okay, so what do you think is the reason that it got expanded so fast to other side of the world? How do you work on your marketing? Uh, so we, we actually we were amazed with what happened uh, over this uh, year because we hardly do any marketing. Mostly it's word of mouth and just people that are carrying the word. And I think that today in this, uh, we're in a virtual world and being able to meet someone face-to-face, -face, kind of like old time, 
and to connect with people around food, which food is always a great way to meet other people, it's something that people, I guess, uh, can easily understand and something that resonates with people. And I guess that's, that's the reason that it uh, kind of like took off in the last year. Mm -hmm. So how can you be a host? Uh, if someone wants to like host uh, many guests, and how can you do that? So you simply go to the website and you apply. Uh, you have to fill up an application form, and at the end of the application, somebody from it will uh, will get in touch with you. You'll have a sort of an interview and more explanation about what the platform is all about. And if after the interview everything is goes well, then you're being uh, basically your profile is being published, mm -hmm. and you can start hosting. So, what's the business model? The business model is very simple. We take a commission from every transaction. So, all transactions are being done on, online. Mm -hmm. We hold the money actually in escrow up until 24 hours after the event. And assuming everything goes well, we transfer the money to the host and we're de deducting our commission. Mm -hmm. So, what's the, uh, what is the current funding stage of the event? So we, we raised a venture fund, a seed fund last year uh, from a local venture capital here in Israel called Genesis Partners and uh, from a group of the leading angels in Israel. So uh, what is a dining experience to you? So our vision is actually to create a new dining category which we call social dining. So restaurants for me are today more of the same thousands of restaurants in my life, I hardly remember any one of them, but I would probably remember this uh, eat with, oh, it wasn't eat with, but this dining experience that I had in Greece uh, for the rest of my life. So I think that once you put social and you meet new people around food and around dining, something magical happens and this is something we want to replicate all across the world. Mm -hmm. So I bet there will be uh, many hosts and guests from Korea who will be uh, wanting to have eat with within Korea as well. So what would you like to say to Korean audience? So, uh, so like I told you, uh -huh. I've been to Korea about 10 years ago uh, for two days and I would pay a lot of money if I could actually go to someone local and and to see how people live and to sh if they would be willing to share the culture with me. So if some next time in Korea, if uh, there would be a eat with there, and I can actually go and uh, meet locals around food, uh -huh. for me that would be amazing. Wow, great! So uh, thank you so much for your great stories, and uh, thank you so much for watching. And uh, hope to hope you have a great experience with an uh, eat with when you visit other countries, and hope to see uh, eat with in Korea as well. So thank you so much. Uh, hope to see you next time. Bye-bye. Thank you.